So to get the best deal with Hostinger, you wanna go down to the video description and click on the first link you find there. This is my personal referral link and this will make sure you get the best deal that is currently available. Now, depending on when you watch this video, this page is probably gonna look a bit different because right now they have the Black Friday sale going on, so everything looks a bit different here. But as long as you see my picture here and the Medix Media logo, then you're at the right place and you're gonna get the best deal. It's also gonna enable you to use my coupon code, which is gonna give you an additional 10% of your hosting plans. And by the way, you also have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if for any reason you wanna uh, not start a blog or use a different hosting provider, within 30 days, you can just get your money back, no questions asked. So once you're here, just scroll down and go to the web hosting plans. We're gonna go for the business plan. This has everything that we need for our blog. So we're gonna click on add to cart. Then here we can choose our payment period, which means how many months in advance we're gonna pay for our hosting. So the by far cheapest option is the 48 months option. This way we can pay for four years of hosting today at this reduced price. And this is gonna allow us to save a lot of money in the long run. So I recommend to choose the 48 months option, but you can also look at these other options right here. Just keep in mind that the free domain is only gonna be included with these plans right here, the three on the right side. So I'm gonna go with the 48 months option here. Then let's scroll down and here type in your email address and choose a password. When that's done, let's scroll down to the payment methods. And before you choose your payment method or type in anything here, make sure to go to the have a coupon code link here, click on it and then make sure to type in Medix Media as a coupon code, click apply and this is gonna give you an additional 10% discount. Then once the payment is completed, we should get to a page looking something like this. Now we wanna to get to our dashboard as quickly as possible so we save some time by not answering all these questions. So let's just click on the hosting logo right here at the top. And this will take us directly into the hosting or dashboard. And here, the first thing we're gonna do is verify our email address, the one that we have used to sign up for hosting or with. So just go to your email inbox, look for an email saying verify your email address from Hostinger and then click on verify email. Perfect, so now that your email address is verified, the next thing we can do is choose our domain name. The domain name is simply the name of your website. So just like for Facebook, the name of the website is facebook.com. For Apple, it's apple.com. So now we're gonna choose our own domain name for our blog. And because we have chosen one of the plans where the domain is included, we can see here that it says claim domain. So when we click here, we can choose the domain. The first thing I would recommend is to change the domain extension here at the end to a .com. This is what most people are used to and what I generally recommend you use. You can also use one of the other ones here, but I usually recommend to go with a .com if you can. Then here you can just type in the name of your blog. So as I'm creating a travel blog, as an example blog here, I'm just gonna type in Medix Travel and see if this is still available. Click uh, check availability. And as we can see here, this domain is still available. So let's click on claim domain. Then to complete the registration of your new domain, you're gonna have to fill out some contact details. So just do that now and then move on to the next step. Once that's done, we get to the next page where it says your domain is being secured. So let's click on continue here. Then here we can just ignore this offer because we already have a hosting plan. So let's click on skip, I don't need a website. And this should take us back to the hosting or dashboard where we once again need to confirm our email address, this time for the domain we have just registered. So let's go to your email inbox and then you should see an email saying important, verify your contact information for uh, the domain you have chosen. So let's just click on this link right here in your email. And then when you get to this screen here, we can basically close the page go back to our um, hosting or dashboard, 
reload the page and then we should be able to see the verifi email verification status is now verified. Great, so now that we have successfully installed your hosting and also your domain, it's time to install WordPress. So let's head over to home right here on the top left. And then here under business web hosting, let's click on setup, then click on start now. And then here we're gonna skip all these questions. So let's click on skip down here at the bottom. Then let's click on create a new website. And then here we can either choose the Hostinger Builder or WordPress. In this case, we wanna choose WordPress. So let's click on select here. And then here we're gonna to have to create a new WordPress account. So I would recommend to just keep the email the same that you've used for your hosting provider, then choose a password and click on continue. Now we don't need any pre-installed plugins on our website, so let's just click on skip. I will manage plugins later. And the same thing goes for the templates. Let's click on skip, I don't need a template. And then here also, let's click on skip, I will write content later. Then here we can choose our domain. The domain we have registered before is already pre-selected, so let's click on select. And then here we can choose our server location. Like I said, the, the server is the place where all of your website files will be stored. So if you wanna change it, you can just click here and then you can choose any of these locations here. Um, I recommend to just keep the server as close to your visitors as possible. So if, you have, if you're gonna have more readers in Europe, then you wanna choose one of these locations in Europe. But if most of them are gonna be from the US, then you probably wanna choose the North America server. I'm gonna leave it as it is here in the US and click on uh, change. And then let's click on finish setup. Then once WordPress has been successfully installed, we can go to our WordPress dashboard by clicking on admin panel right here. And now we are inside of our WordPress dashboard.